So I smoke marijuana sometimes a lot every day. And I'm, to, I'm at work on time. What's the downside to marijuana? Exactly. Nothing. Okay, fine, you might get the munchies. That's not bad. It's not like brothers are getting the munchies going out trying to stick up Keebler elf houses or some shit. See a bunch of brothers in the parks harassing trees. I know you in there, little elf man. Just tell us which tree y'all make the cookies in. Go check them other trees. Wouldn't that be great if we could get cookies from trees? If we lived in a world where we could get cookies from trees, we'd all be gay. You don't think so? You don't think that'd be a fucking happy place? Cookies, yeah! Actually, you know what? He's, you're, you're gay, so he knows. He's like, no. A gay world, trees would grow dicks. Yeah! This one is ripe. I'm taking this with me. See, the penis is not really such an easy topic to talk about because women are afraid of them. <laughs> I mean, penis, the penis doesn't get any respect. That's the point I'm trying to make. Breasts get respect. See, all you women can stand up and take your breasts out right now and the fellas will be like, how good is this show, huh? <laughs> it's only gonna get better. Now, if just one dude stood up and took his dick out, be like, get that guy! Mm, fucking asshole, kill him! <laughs> the penis is the bad guy in the holy crazy, that's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? You take breast out and they're like, mm -hmm, there's two of us. <laughs> you take a penis out and it's like, <laughs> Run, it's the penis! <laughs> and the vagina? <laughs> There's really nothing funny about the vagina. That's some very, very serious shit. Have you seen it? It's got flaps and shutters. Little doorbell right there. Bing doom. Can the dick come in? Not tonight. Go through the back door. What? Oh, some dick in the butt people here, huh? Nasties. <laughs> and what's up with this fucking cyber bullying shit? I don't get it. These kids today, uh, I think they're 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 soft. <laughs> they're soft. Hey man, put the fucking Xbox down. Hey, pick up a Wii. At least you can get a workout. Do some yoga on it. These guys are fucking crying. The government's actually talking about putting money into stopping cyberbullying. My bully sat right there. And whenever I looked at him, he'd look at me and be like, 3 o'clock, and punch you in both your eyes, top of your head, out of your neck, dick through, and your eyes again. Be like, well, why? Because you wear glasses. But now these kids are like, nobody in school likes you. The outfit you had on last night was gross. Send. <laughs> I wish I could see his face. <laughs> if my son ever came home like, your dad, I'm being cyber bullied, I'd be like, take a seat, gay lord, let me tell you something. <laughs> what you want to do is sharpen a number two pencil. Right? <laughs> he said he liked peaches, right? As soon as he goes for the peaches, <laughs> leave the pencil there. <laughs> oh, I'm the only guy in here who's been in prison? <laughs> That's a joke. I, was... I mean, I went to prison once in seventh grade. It was called Scared Straight. And I was, I was scared for that fucking 40 minutes. But then once I got out there, I was like, fuck y'all. You can't get out. Whoa, you behind the bars. And what's up with these cops on horses? Why do they have jobs? I've never seen them do anything. I've never seen them do any of that fucking spectacular horseback riding where they jump off and jump back on. I've never seen them do that. I've never seen them fucking lasso a guy. <laughs> I've seen them do a bunch of fucking pictures with tourists. I've seen that. I've seen a whole bunch of...
All I'm asking is this. If I were committing a crime, and I saw him, and he saw me, and I started to run, would he be like, yeah? <laughs> That's all. And what's he going to do? He's going to be like, you're under arrest, buddy. Get on. <laughs> you can't put a man on the back of the horse with his hands tied behind his back. He could fall off. Hey, hey, hey! So do they tie you to the back of the horse? <sighs> water. Water. Mr. Lincoln says I was free. <laughs> Little Black History Month joke right there. See, you don't understand about black people during the month of February. We are so fucking powerful. We like superheroes. And our powers are waning right now because we only got like, what, three days left? <laughs> Like, even when I walk outside, cabs just stop. Like, you need taxi? I'm like, no, but you will. Wait a minute now, why are you stopping? I don't want to. I am compelled to stop for you. It's that Black History Month power. My boy was asking me, he was like, dude, you know that joke you do? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, suppose every February, all black people in America could fly. I was like, what do you mean fly? talking about like fly. Really? Uh, white people be mad as shit. Especially in the deep south. They be held over the TV screen. What the fuck is going on? All these goddamn niggers flying around and packs of ten blocking out the goddamn sun. Haven't you think? It's an eclipse, but it's just the niggers flying all the way in. Flying around with your dicks out playing tricks on the good white Christian man. I'm a good white Christian. Okay, boy, you need to fly a little higher, but you're fine. Thank you. If anybody else is like you, my ears would be ringing right now. Anything you guys want to talk about? No? Don't be afraid, I'm not going to bite you. I miss you, Juan. <laughs> I have a... Uh, two-year-old son, and uh, he said I had a huge penis. Well, he didn't say it. I was getting out the shower, and he came running in the bathroom. Dada! Hey, watch your head, man. Get up. Stop crying. Come on. See? Little dick joke. It's funny. You know, I'm funny about vagina. How you gonna do that? How you gonna do a funny vagina joke? See? Nothing. That's the one thing your penis has. It's funny. Yeah. Except when he gets angry. <laughs> okay. How about that Gaddafi, huh? <laughs> that motherfucker, he looked like a dude I know. I swear to God, don't that motherfucker look like a light-skinned black dude with a bad jerry curl? Really? Is it just me? I... Fine. I don't care. And take care of your wait staff too, because they're not just serving y'all drinks because they like doing this shit. It's their job. Make sure you leave something on the table. Where you from, man? You ain't American, are you? Because you got hope in your eyes. They all bright. Oh, you're from Canada. Yeah, see, you got it. No wonder. Oh, no, I should have figured look at all these healthy eyes and shit and good clear skin. Hope for the future. <laughs> the Canadians are like, ha, don't worry, in 50 years, ah, we'll have America. They're going to kill themselves. It's going to be a really great country. We're going to call it Canadica. <laughs> One person. One person. <laughs> One person. <laughs> <clears throat> I got a question. Uh, it's just something I, I think about. I don't know. How, how come white people always see UFOs? <laughs> Every time I've seen somebody saying that they've seen a UFO, it's always been a white person. Now, I've never seen anybody. I've never seen no Indian cat. You should have seen it. It was red and blue and turning up red. 
So we some white guy. That thing was sitting about this high off the ground. Had red and blue lights on the thing, made a humming sound like mm -hmm, then just took out. I think I may have took one of my cows when it left. Wouldn't it be great if aliens came to this planet and they were black? And they got here and they were like, yo, we so happy we found this planet. Because we left all these black people here and we came to get them. <laughs> Bring them back home to their home planet. Planet Black Black. <laughs> but you pronounce it. Black Black. That's how you pronounce it. Two days later, a ship twice the size of the United States would show up. Nothing on TV for two weeks straight said black people rolling up conveyor belts with their suitcases, partying. We leaving! Y'all can't come. And that last black guy. No more black people. All Fat white girls be crying. Attention! <laughs> 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 Today in sports, the New York Knicks beat the Boston Celtics 15-13. <laughs> and in other sports, soccer, Brazil versus... Well, no. I did that joke down south. This dude walked up to me. He's like, hey, you the boy do all them jokes about black people leaving the planet? Fucking brilliant. <laughs> you think they got a planet out there for Jews and Mexicans? <laughs> it's like, you know that's just a joke, right? He's like, bullshit, nigger, I believe you have a spaceship. <laughs> you just being stingy. <laughs> you know what? As a comedy club, as a comedy crowd, you guys... Uh -huh. <laughs> But we'll see how you respond when the hottest fucking band on the planet start tickling them keys and hitting on these drums and cymbals and shit. Start letting all these beautiful voices sing. That's what y'all came out here for, see? But I see, oh, okay, I see you. See that? See how the white man walk past the brothers here? Mm -hmm. Come on, it's time for you to go. You're, you're disturbing our crowd. <laughs> I want to sing the first song. You leaving? You ain't like that last joke. My bad. <laughs> Well, I better stop before all of you leave. All right, I hope you all enjoyed me, and if you didn't, you got a band that's gonna fucking definitely rock your boots. Enjoy your evening. <laughs>